Back in the day, specifically in the late 90s and early 2000s, fantasy and high concept sci-fi music in JRPGs were a dime a dozen. But you do not often hear contemporary music being used in a JRPG taking place in a modern setting, or even in a post-apocalyptic wasteland. True, you have outliers like Square Enix's Live Alive, but those soundtracks still have that fantasy whimsy progression and starlit fantasy vibe to them. Which begs the question, who else in this landscape has been making contemporary musical waves as of late? Who else has influenced many aspiring composers into making modern musical mashups consisting of rock and or pop? This guy! Soji Meguro is a Japanese composer known for working on music for Atlas Games since 1995. He is known to dabble into many genres like rock, J-pop, and jazz. But it was only during the mid-2000 era that his name became more and more prominent mostly in the rock and J-pop contemporary styles of music. I find that kind of funny, since he's more of a classical music connoisseur during his youth. For the record, he's also into jazz, so naturally he's a fan of these guys. And it really does show in his many, many compositions and musical works. That's what we're gonna do for this soundscape spectacular that's long overdue. We're going to take a trip down musical memory lane and revisit Soji Meguro's career. From his earlier works to his recent Persona 5 stint that makes you want to This is a discography that defined Atlas's bestsellers outside of Japan. In case this is your first Soundscape Rodeo, here's how it goes. I play snippets of a few tracks, and all my comments and insights of his work will be in subtitle form. So please read them as you're listening to this chronological mix. All set, let's begin.
now delve into the games that placed him on the map. His contributions to the Mothership and spin-off's Shin Megami Tensei games were monumental to say the least. Here's why.
So we have reached a huge turning point in Meguro-san's career. This is the period where he achieved legendary status and rose to the ranks of renowned composers like Yasunori Mitsuda and Nobuo Uematsu. Destruction.
we've reached closer to his twilight years. Sort of. Keep in mind that around this period, he now headlines Persona musical concerts. Personally, his earlier works are better than what we're hearing now. But hey, it's good listening for Greenhorn Shin Megami Tensei fans who started out with Persona 5 last year, so take it away! And that's it for our Shoji Meguro retrospective. I do hope you enjoyed this feature. It's been a long time coming, at least from the soundscape side of things. Honestly, I don't know what would have become of Atlas if they didn't have this musician on board. Whether you're a fan of his older hard rocking works, or his new pop jazz fusion stylings, there is something for everyone's earbuds. Here's to more music from the genius that is Shoji Meguro. Mm-hmm.